What's up? This is Square2448 with a Farming Slanter Sound Team video. Today we'll be camping with off road toys and new trucks on the mowing map. We have a Ford F350 Platinum Edition Dually and we have a Chevy 3500 HD Dually over here. For off road toys, we'll be bringing along the four seater players and the Yamaha. Over here to the right, we do have our trailers. One is the 30 foot gooseneck trailer which is brand new this will be released in the next few weeks which has been a really highly requested mod and we have our largest camper over here which is a triaxle we'll be hopping in the chevy and towing the gooseneck camper trailer over to the campgrounds and then we'll be having some fun bringing all the toys over with a ford in the 30 foot trailer and i'm very excited to be using these brand new trucks and trailers i appreciate all the modders for all the work they do and I'm very excited to be releasing this gooseneck enclosed trailer very soon so we'll get this attached and we'll be heading out here and we are on the mowing map so we'll be going to the new section campgrounds which will be pretty cool and I would like to thank you all for the continued support on the daily content I'm very excited to be doing more and more farms and videos each and every day they are a lot of fun and with these new mods coming out almost every day it's even cooler so you guys can see that this gooseneck camper trailer does have a hitch in the back which we will not be using i think it's just a little too long and then we would need a stronger truck to tow it since this camper is very heavy this chevy is doing an amazing job towing this and i really do like the looks of it it looks like this truck is completely AO baked which looks amazing and i'm very excited that we get pretty cool awesome trucks like this so i appreciate all the modders for all of their work like i was saying earlier and i appreciate each and every one of you supporting the daily content because it's a lot of fun gaming here so i'm thinking we'll probably come up here and we'll probably set up our camper over here it looks like actually over here looks pretty good so we'll come over here to the right there looks to be a pretty nice large open area over here so this looks to be good we do have a view of the river which is awesome we'll probably park it right about here turn uh the truck 90 degrees blocking anybody from taking it i do like to do that but overall this truck you guys will be seeing in a mod view later on in the week it looks amazing and i really do like the chrome on it it looks pretty cool overall we got this parked up over here so we'll switch over to this f350 platinum for this truck looks amazing one of my new favorite Ford dualies so we'll back up to it we'll get it attached and we are in my favorite dark red color and we will have to be going another way to the campgrounds so we'll be pulling out probably parking just like this this looks to be good we are kind of blocking the roadway we'll put our hazard lights on we'll be lowering the ramp but this trailer is sim very similar to the uh, 25 foot enclosed trailer I did release it does have collisions it is a very heavy trailer but it is very cool all the functions do work on it but we'll be loading up the Yamaha first these are some very fast and fun off-road toys and I'm always excited to be doing it so it looks like the truck is just a little too low here in the front so we will have to disconnect it sometimes you will on different trailers because trucks have different heights so uh, it's always good to just disconnect it and everything would work fine we'll load it up here you guys can see that there was a collision but I really do like this gooseneck trailer one of the most requested trailers for me to put together and it will be released probably I'm going to say next week and we are releasing a lot a lot of mods very soon we'll be loading this up and this fits pretty well there's really not much clearance up top but it is the same clearance as the other trailer which was pretty good I wanted to keep them kind of the same size and so we'll attach back and we'll load up the ramp this truck looks pretty cool and it has one of the most detailed interiors I've seen in a Ford truck which is pretty cool so we'll head back over here through the town into the campgrounds we'll turn off our hazard lights but you guys can see that this is a very cool setup looks like the truck is a little bit lower in the back but like I was saying the trailer is a very heavy trailer I do get a lot of questions why is the trailer kind of sinking the back of the truck that's because the collisions do add a lot of weight but all the lights work on the truck and I'm very excited to be doing camping videos here for farm sim we'll be doing a few more in GTA 5 in a cool video every day on the channel and I really do like doing these daily content so if you haven't already I do recommend you subscribe to the channel and join this awesome channel where I do post daily farm sim videos 
Now the exhaust is coming through the hood of the truck and I did try to work that out but it looks like we will have to kind of use the truck as is until I can figure out the bug. But we'll be going down this dirt road right over here and the best thing about this new campground area is that it connects with the old section over here. And this is like a small section, it's a pretty cool one but we do have a brand new one. So we'll be going right by the dirt track. Looks like nobody's here, so we might stop by and go probably one time around in each of them, which would be a lot of fun to do. But we made it over here. You guys can see that it is a pretty small mountain. I didn't want to do too large of a mountain. Wow, this dually is doing a great job, and some of these roads are very challenging. But overall, I kind of like them challenging since it is supposed to be off-roading. I might make like an off-road trail for version 2. And you guys are asking for version 2. Yep, it will be released probably about 2-3 to three weeks. And it will have working traffic, different garage doors. And we will also have a few cool features like a highway and everything like that. So we are just about over here to the campground. I do like going different ways, changing it up. So we made it over here just about, and like I was saying, since this uh, trailer is pretty heavy, we'll be lowering the gate and we'll just be disconnecting it. So it takes a lot of weight off the truck, but then we could get everything out pretty easy. So you guys can see that looks pretty good. We'll kind of leave the truck just as is, and there is only one jack on the trailer. It's a pretty small 30 foot trailer, so we only have one jack, but this will be released within the next few weeks. So we got the campground set up. Take a look at this. These awesome, very detailed trucks. I appreciate the modders for all they do in Farm Sim, and uh, we'll be doing a lot of cool mod releases. We'll back this one off. I think we'll go do one time around at the dirt track once we do a little bit of off-roading around here. Now you guys can see that there is a river over there, and wow, this is a pretty bumpy terrain, and I really do like this mountain. So take a look at that, guys. We are getting some air almost into a tree. I mean, this is very hard to control, especially in first-person view, but I kind of like switching up the views. Wow, we are driving pretty fast, and it's overall very bumpy. You guys can see we are bouncing all around. And take a look at that, guys. We are coming up to the bridge over there. That's pretty cool. But version 1 of the mowing map has gotten released. So you guys can go to that release video. Check out the video where I show all the upgrades to it. But we are just cruising along. We did crash into a few trees. But we do have a roll bar. And a roll cage on, which is very helpful. Wow, take a look at that. We completely got the back of the wheels kind of in the ground. That is a first, but it looks like we got them back, which is good. Now, we'll be making our way over to the dirt track. I don't really uh, use this dirt track too many times, but when we do, we have a lot of fun over here. So hopefully, we do not roll this over, but we'll kind of get on the track. We'll do a few passes, and this is open to the public since uh, we are camping. Wow, barrel rolling, and look at that. The roll cage really did save us. So we'll kind of drive right over this again, and let me know, guys, what types of vehicles we should take on this track. But it looks like, wow, we can't really jump this vehicle. It just doesn't really do well. And now we have half the vehicle kind of in the ground. That's pretty funny. Wow, this vehicle is pretty heavy, and it really does not uh, like to be jumped. So that's probably going to be it for this one. We'll head back very fast, though. And I really do like this uh, four-seater. But let me know, should we work on a new off-road vehicle? I think that that would be pretty cool. We'll be making our way over. It looks like we'll just kind of follow our tire tracks. It's a very large area, and tire tracks really do kind of help out. Almost rolling it over right over there. So this is a pretty easy vehicle to roll over. I really do like the river along there. We might drive along it, but this door does not open, and I will kind of look into that maybe for version 2. But like I was saying, guys, the trailer will be released very soon. I do enjoy uh, releasing a lot of cool mods, and it's a lot of fun releasing and modding so take a look at that guys we are cruising along the edge over here and this is probably one of my favorite vehicles it's a pretty compact four-wheeler but you guys can see that we are cruising through the campground area pretty fast and I really want to go do a few passes here at the dirt track but I do not want to flip it we'll come over here take a look at this guys we are going to get this jump Wow that's the largest jump I have taken in farm sim 
and we rolled over so it looks like that we will have to end it early today i hope you guys enjoyed stay tuned for a mod review on this truck i appreciate all the modders for all their work and this enclosed trailer will be released within the next week week and a half so thanks for watching have a great day and subscribe for more